Hey guys, and welcome to the Igloo today. And today we're going to be talking about the Model 2. But it, this news came out on Valentine's Day, and I was not going to be saying it then because we were doing a food and paint kind of session. And we just ate some good food. We had some like deep fried mushrooms. We had a calzone, a veggie calzone, and just a few other things. So it was really good. And uh, while we were doing that, I was just like, oh, I'm going to look at this. I'm going to look at Twitter. So it says that there's a rumor that's coming out for the Model 2 that's going to be globally sold in China to the rest of the world. And it says they already have like a production line already, thanks to David Wang saying that uh, 9 2020 was already approved. Production certification is going to happen around like March 2021. And then first deliveries are going to be around like 2022 rumor tesla show model 2 around like november of this year and i was just like oh yeah this looks really good and then it had like a little subduction to it to the actual link to what was actually shared and bestowed and i was just like okay this is a very nice rumor that i could actually see because if it was like this type of design like a two-door and it was being made in China and distributed to the world. I was just like, okay, so a 25K car that's going to be announced later on this year is going to be tremendous, especially for the EV section alone. It's going to be like, all right, so that Chevy Spark that just came out, like, what was it, like a few days ago? Not even, like, maybe yesterday on Valentine's Day, too? where it's like $43,000 or something for the starting cost for it and then working its way down. I'm like, no, no, I, I don't want that. We're not even thinking of a dealership fee on top of it too. It's just like, no, I would never want to look for something, especially when I see this on the horizon. Like, I'm a big fan of the Cybertruck and that's going to be one of my big things that I'm going to be investing in especially is having their cyber truck especially for having kids so the next thing especially for people that can't afford to have like a 40 50 70 thousand dollar truck a twenty five thousand dollar starting price sounds pretty good now do i think that this twenty five thousand dollar tesla model 2 is going to be like with long range 300 miles no I think that this is going to be a 250 mile range vehicle of some kind of category, or it's going to be a single motor rear wheel drive kind of units so that it has that little bit more long range with the heat pump that you currently have adopted from the Model Y to the Model 3, and now it would be to the Model 2 S and also the X. And then the Cybertruck, obviously, because, again, the heat pump is one of the most advantaged things possible for a EV in category. So I was going to be like, okay, so does it make sense with this rendering that they had that came with the release to have a two-door version of a subcompact kind of hatchback-style Mini Cooper kind of feeling like Tesla? And I was just like, well, it can work, it, especially when you can like chop the front of the Tesla and then just shrink everything from the back. And then you would have like these subcompact seats and then you would have like no space in the back. Like it would make sense to have that kind of style. And personally, if I had that option, that would probably be the ideal version of a robo taxi because the less weight that you would have the better the less overall just volume the better honestly because you're just trying to transport people and most people aren't going to be really using the hatchback unless they are traveling and not that many people are traveling right now especially with everything going on so maybe there might be some luggage things maybe it's just some small luggage maybe you need to put the seats down maybe that could work in that kind of category for to have this type of tesla and also at the same time, like the other thing that was discussed that I would really be intrigued upon because Elon brought it up is to have airless tires for a robo taxi, not not just for regular use, but for a robo taxi, because that makes more sense 
because he wants to cheapen the mile. And every mile that he cheapens, the longer the longevity of the vehicle. So he's pretty much making a crazy, ludicrous vehicle. And it's just like, okay, cool. So one of the things that I have as a thought process is not only just for robo taxis, but also personal use. And then also for recreational use. What does this Model 2 offer in this category in this leak process? Well, one thing that we do know is that they're going to have to be transported right now from China to America. Because we don't have the factory space in Fremont. Because Fremont's already packed to the gills already. They, unless you like shut down all production lines, shut down the Model S line that just relaunched that's going to be releasing vehicles this month in February to maybe like early March for like limited scale production again for the S and the X, you're going to be having just so much more that it's going to be needed, especially in the Fremont factory, because what they want to do is they want to have full body casting for the front and then also the full body casting in the rear and then structural batteries in the future do, do we know what site is going to be having the structural batteries in the first place? No. We don't know if it's going to be coming out of Shanghai or Berlin or Austin when it comes to the structural battery integrity before we get the 4680 cells. So, again, it, it comes down to the point of what can we expect. Now, what can we expect is is in 2021 we're either going to have a limited production rate for the Cybertruck, the Tesla Model 2 at some point, or maybe like the semi that would be coming out. It's actually a really crazy and interesting time for Tesla and everything that is dynamically Tesla because there's just so much that they're doing at one time. It's pretty incredible. And then also, one final thing is that they're trying to improve the color and quality of their solar panels for their Tesla um roof system so we might be seeing more interesting options in the future with that if you guys like this kind of content please leave a like leave a comment down below and have a good one guys